This is reading lesson number nine. This video is for you if you struggle with reading. I am April McMurtry, a reading specialist, dyslexia specialist, and the developer of the Learn Reading Program. And I am going to teach you to read in 100 lessons. It is important that you start with lesson one. I have that video linked for you below. And I will be building upon each lesson. So it's important that you watch them in order and start with lesson one. Here's how these lessons will work. The first 10 lessons are taken from my begin reading packet, which I have linked next to the number one in the description below. Lessons 11 through 91 are taken from my learn reading program, and those worksheets are linked next to the number two below. And lessons 91 through 100 are taken from my adult reading class, and that is next to the number three below. If you do not purchase the work worksheets to follow along with me, that is perfectly fine. I would love to teach you right here for free, but you will need a piece of paper and a pencil to copy the words down. So go ahead and pause the video and grab a piece of paper and a pencil and then come right back. I will have two videos for you each week. You are free to follow along with me here for free, or you can join me at any time in my live adult reading class, especially if these words are a little easy for you. I will be able to help you a lot more personally there. Again, that link is next to the number three below. If you, if you would like an online tutor, then I have some recommendations for you also. Okay, let's get started. Okay, we are working on begin reading lesson unit nine and our new grapheme for today is B. But before we get there, we're going to do some phonemic awareness exercises. If you have these worksheets, skip this page and meet me on page two. I'm going to do some phonemic awareness exercises with you. So to warm up our ears and to be develop the skill of being aware of those tiny units of sound within a word which are, which are called phonemes that is what phonemic awareness is it's being aware of the smallest units of sound within a spoken word so to to practice that skill right now i would like for you to count how many sounds are in the word sprint sprint take a second to stretch out those sounds and count how many sounds are in sprint So when you really stretch those sounds out, we have a couple sustained sounds. Those are easy to count, but it's those quick ones like the p, p. Those happen so fast that they're kind of hard to grasp and hear and be aware of, but that is what we're working on. So we have to make sure that we separate all of the sustained sounds off of those little quick ones so that we understand that every single sound has an associated grapheme. So in sprint, we have s, p, r, i, n, t, six sounds in sprint, s, p, r, i, n, t. Go ahead and take your time and practice that. Push pause if you want to. And then as you are practicing your phonemic awareness on your own between classes, pick any object and ask yourself to separate the sounds, isolate each one and count how many there are, and then compare it with somebody else's so that you guys, you, you're sure you, that you have the right answer. That is a wonderful way to strengthen that essential reading skill. Okay, if you have the worksheets, let's go ahead and go to page two. If not, then just follow along with me right here on my screen. Our new grapheme for the day is B. And B is a very quick sound. The sound for B is not B. It's, it's close, but we don't want that uh at the end of it. So the sound for B is not B. Your jaw doesn't drop. It's just B. B. Just a very quick sound. B. B. As fast as you can make it. So if you do have the worksheets, go ahead and practice the clean and crisp sounds of all of these graphemes, and then I'll meet you down on page three. Okay, our words are getting a little longer, so that's exciting. So let's go ahead and do number one together. So I am going to mark our vowels first. 
So I see that this is a vowel A. The vowels are A, E, I, O, U, and Y if it's not the first letter. Here's a vowel in this word. I'm going to do the tap two method, which is you look at the next two letters. If either one of them is another vowel, then the vowel that you are on will say its name or its long sound. Neither one of them is another vowel, so no, this is not going to say its name. It's going to say its regular short sound, A. Ah. So when I pronounce each sound, we have B, O, A, S, T. And when you connect those sounds, we have blast, blast, blast. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead and go to the second one. Now, I wanted to make you aware that this A right here in this word is a rule breaker. Usually, if an A or if any vowel has another vowel one or two doors down like we just practiced, then that vowel is going to make its long sound. But in this word, this A does not say A. It breaks that typical phonetic rule, and it just says A. Ah. And then the I would say what you would expect. So I'll let you go ahead and work through this word and I'll be quiet while you work. Okay, so we knew that this A says A, ah. this I says I because the next letter, the next two letters do not include a vowel, even it's a consonant and a space and that still follows the same rule. If the next two letters are both consonants or if it's a consonant and a space, then it will typically make it short sound if it comes right before that. This C is going to make its hard sound, which is most common. C's will only make the soft sound if the next letter is an E, I, or Y, much more rare than common. Usually that next letter is not going to be an E, I, or Y, just, just statistically speaking. There are 26 letters in the alphabet and only three of them will cause it to make its soft sound. So most of the time this is going to make its hard sound, k, as in this word. So we have k, a, b, i, n. When you connect those dots, we have cabin, cabin, cabin. Perfect. Go ahead and come down to number three and try this one. Just a reminder, if you have two of the same letter, they only make one sound, so they only need one dot. Remember, we are not dotting the letters, we are dotting the sounds. Sometimes there's a set of letters that makes one sound. That's what a grapheme is, a letter or a set of letters that makes one sound. In this case, we have two Bs that are only making one sound, so they only get one dot. Okay, I'll, I'll be quiet while you go ahead and work through this word. Okay, so we have our A that says A because the next two letters are consonants. I that says I because we have a consonant and a space there. When you pronounce those sounds, we have R, A, B, I, T. And when you blend the sounds together, we have rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. Perfect. You are doing great. Let's do the next one. Okay, so here this A is going to say A ah, because the next two letters are consonants. This E is going to say E eh, because there is a consonant and a space after it. The sounds are T, A, ah, B, U, E, eh, T. When you combine those sounds, we have tablet, tablet, tablet. Beautiful. 
All right, last one. Go ahead and work through it. Okay, so here our E is making its short sound because the next two letters are consonants. The short sound for E is eh, eh. When we pronounce the sounds, we have b, u, eh, s. And when you combine the sounds, we have bless, bless, bless. Beautiful. Fantastic. Okay, if you have the worksheets, your sight word for the day is for, as in, I am going for a walk. It is different than the number four. The number four has a U in it. This word for sounds the same, but it is spelled differently and it means something else. This one with the U in it means the number four. This is the more common everyday word as in, I want bacon for breakfast. So go ahead, if you have the worksheets and practice all of the sight words on this page, and then come down here and practice these words um, as flashcards, cut them out, use them in different activities or exposure activities just to practice your fluency for these words. All right, you are doing fantastic. I will see you in the next lesson.